Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 2. This is your week 8, brought to you by To Enable. This week we'll take a look at accidentals covering octaves, double sharp and double flat. Let's begin. Octave. We remember that an octave is an interval of an eighth. One note will be on the line and the other in the space. When it is two octaves, both notes will be on the lines or spaces. Let's take a look. This is an example of one octave. The given note was C. The next octave is inside the space. One octave. When it's two octave, C, we jump the first octave. Then on the second octave, that's where you get your other C, which is also on the line. Counting the intervals, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right. Then here it's 8. Let's move along to accidental. Accidentals. Accidentals are sharps and flats, double sharps and double flats, and naturals used to lower or raise notes. Accidentals are sharps, flats, double sharps or double flats, naturals used to lower or, ra or, or, or raise notes. They are placed before the notes. Accidental rules. A natural, remember it cancels the sharp or a flat. A bar line cancels accidentals. That means accidentals from the previous bar are not applicable on the new bar. So a bar line cancels accidentals. Accidentals from the previous bar on the previous bar are no longer applicable. They no longer work in the new bar. A double flat indicates that the notes should be lowered by a semi by two semitones. And a double sharp indicates that notes should be raised by two semitones. So a double flat lowering by two semitones and a double sharp you are raising a note by two semitones. Remember, two semitones they give you a whole tone. Place accidentals before the notes, not after. A very important rule to remember as well. Place accidentals before the notes, not after the note. Accidentals should be neatly written on the lines or in the spaces. This is an incorrect example of writing your accidentals. This accidentals was placed before the notes. Therefore, it's incorrect. This is a correct way of writing accidental. The accidental is neatly inside the space and it's before the notes. This is incorrect since the accidental is on top of the note. Definitely wrong. The correct accidental. Notes with accidentals that are tied over a bar line do not need to be written with accidentals. The accidental from the previous bar is still applicable. Let's take a look at examples. This accidental, this sharp sign, G sharp. It's still applicable even over a bar line. So it will also affect this note since this G sharp is tied to the next G sharp on the next bar. Accidentals only affect notes on the same line. These are accidental rules. Memorize them and know them. Notes on the same spaces. So they affect notes on the same line, notes on the same spaces. Notes with different octaves are not affected by one accidental. I will repeat that again. Notes with different octaves are not affected by one accidental. Meaning, if for example I have an E here, say this is an E, then my other E up here, and this E can be affected with the same. By the same accidental so i need to place another accidental when i get to an octave higher or lower a double 
sharp means notes must be raised by two semitones which is the whole tone let us take a look at examples of double sharp on the staff draw the double sharp as an x okay the size of one full space so you draw as an x the size of one full space with four small dots placed on each side with four small dots placed on each side one each side inside the space is created by the cross so the first step is to draw the x second step the four dots one each side completing the x double sharp sign is accepted also this one is also accepted you can see a double sharp movement on the keyboard would be moving from g if it's a d double sharp double sharp would be moving from g passing g sharp going to a all the way to a because it's a whole tone movement moving along a double flat a double flat means notes must be lowered by two semitones this is a whole note movement it consists of two flat symbols however though it should always be seen as one double flat symbol let us take a look at the how the signs are positioned on the staff you can see these are actually two flat signs joined together but they should be seen as one double flat notation double flat sign double flat also here on the keyboard mean means moving from G going down passing G flat right down to F G double flat whole tone movement a double fret raised double flat would give you a a flat this means if you put a sharp sign or you raise a double flat by a semitone it will give you one flat when you raise a double flat i mean when you raise a flat sign it will give you a natural when you raise a flat sign it should give you a natural because you would have cancelled actually that flat sign and when you raise a natural sign you will get a sharp sign when you lower a double sharp you'll get one sharp when you lower a sharp you'll get a natural and when you lower or flatten a natural we get a flat sign remember that a sharp raises a note by a semitone and a flat lowers a note by a semitone double sharp raises a note by two semitones a double flat lowers a note by two semitones i'll repeat that again when a double sharp or a double flat is raised when you sharpen a double flat you will get one flat and when you raise a flat you'll get a natural when you raise a natural you'll get a sharp when you lower now a double sharp we are lowering that means we are flattening when you flatten a double sharp you'll get one sharp when you flatten that one sharp you'll get a natural when you flatten a natural you'll end up with a flat sign